very good morning to all uh, dear students uh, today we are going to see about uh, tense so see this is uh, a very basic concept in the grammar um, uh, regarding uh, the students who have come from the tamil medium they make uh, several mistakes in the forms of making tense this is actually the tense which denotes the um, event when the event has uh, has taken place and uh, what is that we are going to do so this is the verb form which is going to give the forms of whether it is a present or whether it is a past or whether it is a future so tense is nothing but it denotes a form of a verb which you when you communicate when you communicate towards somebody uh, you just say when the particular event has happened right or when when it is going to happen so this is how english communication this is a basic form of a communication skill when you know about a tense we come to know about um, the speaking as well as the what to say writing skill develop the speaking we have to four skills lsrw in lsrw we give importance actually when we know something about tense we come to know about a speaking how we have to speak and how we have to write without making any mistake in particularly grammar so let me go into the tense see simple uh, tense i have uh, written the board simple tense continuous tense perfect tense and perfect continuous these are the basic concepts of uh, tense see in simple tense we have three forms that e e actually for all the tenses four tense we have present past and future so totally you have to know about these particular basic level of 12 forms of tenses so i just want to go on with the simple tense now i have given you a form of a uh, tabular column see in the tabular column in uh, each sentence we just go on with the subject so he she it i you we they these are the forms of subjects what we are going to talk about right i have given here simple present tense simple past tense simple future tense so see in simple present tense we have certain um, uh, limitations or we can say certain rules that we have to follow so see in simple present tense uh, usually we have to put after the subject we have to add es in the verb particularly in the present concept and for particular he she it and that is third person singular right uh, actually this is a very basic level which you have come across in your fifth standard but doesn't matter if you have um, uh, um, what brushing out your past uh, uh, knowledge it is good that we come to know about the rules in a very particular level so that you can it will be clear for you to speak out in a pre very pre precise manner very clear manner in writing in everything whatever you go on with the communication this is a very basic level and you must all know all this particular level right so he she it when a third person singular comes we have to use verb plus es right and uh, we cannot say that all the verbs have the es but i have given you the differentiation of uh, where you have to use es work you have to use works so eat you have to use eats so i you we the we they we have to use just the verb as it is that is work or eat see in simple present tense we have to follow we have three basic um, uh, what rules we can say in english so this side i have given what are the ba three basic rules so if the event has uh, going on with the habitual action or routine action if a person does the action routinely i come to college usually by bus i come to college what by cycle so this is the routine thing i do uh, exercise daily i drink coffee in the morning frequently usually daily so these are the routine or habitual action you do so when a person does the habitual action daily we have to denote the verb with present tense so there is other one uh, rule over here that is a scientific truth so uh, see the scientific truth or the things which is been uh, discovered which cannot be uh, changed 
as uh, water boils at 100 degrees celsius so when we boil the water it has been denoted that it has been uh, discovered that uh, it only boils at 100 degrees celsius we cannot say that it ha has a variation of uh, the degrees right so usually we go on with the scientific truth with what simple present tense so thirdly see universal truth what is meant by universal truth universal truth is a truth which is being universally discovered like the sun rises in the east we cannot say the sun today the sun rises in the east and the tomorrow it will rise in the west it is not like that so always the sun will rise in the east so that is known as the universal truth see why i am giving such a uh, elegant uh, very brief note about simple tense and tense is very important because when you go on with the tnpc examination surely you will get 5 marks or 10 marks from tense so these are the rules basic rules that you have to keep in your mind so that this tense particularly present tense they will ask for um, at least two marks it will come for your uh, uh, questionary you will get the simple tense particularly denoting this scientific truth and the universal or even the habitual truth frequently when students uh, when it has been given they you uh, write with the continuous tense when the habit is going on it is not that the process is going on day to day so even all the tense has certain rules that we have to follow we have to see it to it and see these are the basic uh, uh, things i have seen that is habitual action routine action that a person when hab has an habit of doing certain things that comes under habitual action when a person does the things routinely a daily day a daily day to day activities that comes under uh, routine action and then scientific truth and then universal so see when a sentence is being given how is that you will find out that whether it is a simple tense or past tense there will be a keyword in all the sentences so that that is what i have just uh, written uh, certain keywords see usually see i um, drink coffee usually in the morning that comes under habitual and this will be a keynote will which will be denoted in the question and you have to find out oh this one is a what simple present tense so usually often daily every day every morning frequently right i have just written four to five so there are many things that goes on daily actions so uh, this you have to keep in your mind for going on with simple present tense so you have uh, seen that uh, oh this is what we come to understand this is simple present tense then what is that we have to see we have to see the subject because there is a denotion of what division of the subject when the subject he she it comes we have to go on with es and i u v a we have to go on with s i mean uh, the verb just you have to go on with the verb so you have to see the sentence first we have to see whether it is uh, denoting uh, what the um, basic uh, facts of habitual scientific and universal and the, you have to see to the keyword see every sentence will have a keyword whether it, the event has happening today or yesterday or tomorrow that there will be a keyword for each sentence so this is the keyword for present tense so you have to keep in mind after seeing all these things you have to go on with the uh, what the verb this is the verb which uh, gives you the tense okay now i think uh, you are clear with the present tense now we will pass on to the simple past tense so see uh, here i have given a deviation of uh, that uh, subjects so in simple past tense we no need to care about anything because all the subjects to whomever we are talking whatever the subject we denote everything you have to add with ed so keep in your mind when you go on with the verb you have to just add add ed so see so there are certain verbs that we don't need to add ep we cannot add ed so that comes that if it is eat we have to automatically put ed right so actually in english we say that it comes under regular and irregular verbs so when it is a regular verb you have to add ed and this eat comes under irregular that is we have given eight so what is other thing we have to eat as i have given the keyword for simple present tense what is that we have to see for past tense for simple past tense you will be having a keyword like yesterday last night la day before yesterday last month or they may denote some um, years like last uh, wednesday last uh, month or last year so all these things which comes and previously which has been happened previously so that comes in past tense and that is what uh, we don't have much uh, what 
like that of uh, present tense we don't have much rules for past tense simple past tense now coming towards the simple future see in simple future we just go on with the subject as you as uh, the past tense we can take all the subjects we no need to differentiate the subjects and the subjects will be uh, what continued with the verb that is main verb that is will or shall what do you mean by will and what do you mean by shall what is the importance of will when up uh, when you are definite about the action the action is going on or taking place we say it is will when you when the action is very definite that we that falls under will when you say that um, the action you are not definite about the action whether the uh, event will uh, happen or not i shall come tomorrow i will come tomorrow see there is a differentiation of will and shall um, we will have a, a seminar next day we shall have a seminar next day so there comes a differentiation that will is definite that you are going to have it has been fixed we are not definite because the uh, resource person is not uh, has not given the answer whether it if the resource person is coming or not so we are not sure about the action so if in that case you have to go on with shall which is not a definite action so uh, this is a part of uh, the will and shall uh, explanation now uh, after the will and shall if you want to use uh, you are definite you have put on with will and you have to go on with the verb which is been denoted and the shall will have to go on with the verb which is denoted for example will work shall eat okay so how do you that uh, you can find out that it is a future tense a future means it happens in the what in future so it will be a keyword that is for past tense we had a keyword which happened in the past tense so for the future tense we have the keyword like uh, tomorrow uh, day after tomorrow next month next friday so these are the keywords which denote the past tense so see dear students when you talk you must be very particular about making sense in this verbs right so this is a basic concept that you must know when you have uh, the habit of talking daily or speaking to somebody when you communicate certain things only you can what express these things and you will be able to uh, talk and you will uh, actually when starting we do make mistakes right doesn't matter you talk with your friends these are the simple uh, things that you can make a communication with your friends so that you can improve yourself right so um, today we'll just stop with the tense now thank you